hope the Destiny girls don't cause too much trouble. If they do, a lot of serious karma will be coming against them. Hi mom and dad. What's the scoop, and why did you talk with Amaravati Madhuvanti about the real names of the Destiny girls? Penelope. You will not believe what Amaravati spoke to us about the reveal of the true names of the Destiny girls that role played as the cheer girls. She sent you and your friends, the Molly gang and other groups about the true names of the Destiny girls and they all found out about it. Oh my god. Did the Destiny girls reveal their true names and their true selves for what they did to us cheer girls and other groups? We're afraid so Penelope. See for yourself about the real original names of the Destiny girls that Amaravati sent you. What? Mom, Dad, and Amaravati, all of you must be joking. Victoria and her friends will be permanently disowned and kicked out of the cheer club for role playing as us cheer girls. Thank you for bringing this up to my attention right now. You are so welcome Penelope. Please make sure that you and your friends cut ties with Victoria and her friends as soon as possible. With pleasure Amaravati. Goodbye. Hi Penelope. What's up with the furious look on your face? Well, all of you will blow up when I tell all ten of you about the true original names of the Destiny girls. I just got off the phone from my mum and dad and Amaravati, and they all revealed the Destiny girls' names, in which Amaravati sent us the Destiny girls' true names and identities. See for yourselves. Oh my god! We're totally stunned and really shocked about the true names of the Destiny girls as of right now. They are going to be in lots of trouble forever for role-playing and stealing our names. Thanks for bringing this one up Penelope. First they kidnapped us, then took our names and disguises, and now this. I mean, what on earth is going on with the Destiny girls nowadays? Hi girls. Sorry I'm late. What's with the outrage going on? Hi Liana. You will blow up when Penelope tells all ten of us about the true original names of the Destiny girls. She just got off the phone from her mom and dad and Amaravati, and they all revealed the Destiny girls' true names, in which Amaravati sent us the Destiny girls' true names and identities. Exactly. That's why I brought this up to tell you about the dark story, the true names and the true colors of the Destiny girls. See for yourself. <laughs> Those pieces of shits are going to be in lots of trouble for the rest of their lives for role playing and stealing our names just because they wanted to become popular and much better than any other groups like this. Thanks for bringing this one up Penelope. No problem Liana. When the Destiny girls find out their true names, lots of big trouble is going to come for them. Not only that, but the Destiny girls are going to be permanently disowned by their families, and we all are also turning against them no matter what. They will lose everything forever, and they will all be in a permanent restraining order for good this time. Victoria, Destiny, Kimberly and Rachel. All four of you, get your goddamn asses over here right now. Luan, Sue, Violet, Summer, Sasha, Angela and Gretchen, all seven of you are next. Victoria, Rachel, Kimberly and Destiny. We can't believe you had the audacity to role play as the cheer girls and then steal my name, along with Ariana, Victoria, Cecile and the rest of my friends. Exactly. That's why she called all 11 of you into our cheer house so that we can give you Destiny girls a lot of karma to remember. To start things off as Penelope Taylor, Victoria, you should know that being the so-called smartest girl or smart person ever and did not even let other people win. Just because you're the leader of your group doesn't mean that you're perfect for no goddamn reason. No one is perfect, but we cheer girls all mess up you know, and the Molly gang and other groups also mess up as well, that's for sure. And speaking of smart person, or smart girl, as Ariana Martinez, Destiny, you also did the same thing that Victoria does, and you wanted to be ever since you always want to always win just like her, but no one is. And we even heard from a lot of people that you have absolutely no purpose of so whatsoever. Speaking of being smart and perfect, 
Here's what the smartest girls are going to do regardless about being smartest girls in the world and not letting people win and so much more. And speaking of no purpose whatsoever, here's what the second smartest person is going to do with someone that is regardless on being a Victoria Penelope wannabe and having no purpose of whatsoever, beating smart girls up, that's what we think. Come on Penelope, get them. You said it Ariana. That is what the smartest girls think about it when they find this disgusting for them. And I know this is getting over with, as Victoria Peterson, Kimberly, when you started the object head term and calling us along with my sister Molly and her friends all of the object head terms such as football, cookie, basketball, baseball, stuffed animal, pillow, blanket, etc. All of these terms were way out of control and that everyone agreed and wanted to hop into that trend for no damn reason at all. Thank God all of this ended last year, even though we cheer girls, my sister Molly and her friends all improved ourselves. But seriously, you should be permanently blamed for this. And speaking of object heads and object head terms, here's what the object heads and I have to do something with it regardless on that trend. What? That's what my object head term and object heads think about it. And to start the worst part, as Cecile Bernard, Rachel, do you really think that you're a really quote-unquote richest girl or a quote-unquote richest person in the world as well as your best friend Gretchen? That is the damn disgusting thing and the stupidest thing that I heard in my life, not to mention that you wanted everyone to consider you as a goddamn queen in this world. It's not like that you wanted all of us girls and other groups to praise you like one. That's what the richest girl or the richest person would say the same thing to you if you would have done it in the first place. And Rachel, I don't know if you realize this, but did you know that you were the reason why Timothy of the Molly gang kept on harassing you? Well, it's because you wouldn't leave him alone. You could have called the police on him, but instead, you kept on beefing and goofing around about him, which is exactly why he was harassing you for all of this, even though he's no longer doing it again. And to explain about Violet, Luann, Sasha, Angela, Sue, Summer and Gretchen, they all are just as bad as the four of you are. And we should have known the fact that Angela is actually using autism as an excuse and cries like a baby permanently over everything. Luann, Sue and Violet are disgusting to all of us cheer girls and other groups, just like Summer and Sasha. Speaking of richest person in the world. Here's the point where the richest person is going to do something that involves with being richest poorest girl in this world that I'm going to do with that fucking rich bastard. What? <laughs> That's what the richest girl in the world and at this cheer Molly house and clubs would do if there is another richest girl in this world. And Rachel, your old and best friend Gretchen is acting just like you. You and your best friend basically treat yourselves like gods and this is so out of God imbalance. We're all glad that we're no longer trusting you or your friends, considering how that you were the main reason why we all were obsessed with you and your friends non-stop and never wanted to hate you or your friends for no goddamn reason. See Victoria, Destiny, Kimberly and Rachel? We are not only cutting ties with all four of you, but we are also cutting ties with Gretchen, Luann, Violet, Sue, Sasha, Angela and Summer. And the same goes with the Midnight Meeps who betrayed all 11 of you last year, and we will have all the fun without all 11 of you and we will replace all 11 of you with the Cultural Squad, the Tyler Crew, the Brandon Mates, the Molly Gang, the Rainbow Maples and so much more groups. Oh, and another thing, Principal Jill, Vice Principal Trisha Emerson, and Miss Jane Davis are putting the four of you, 
as well as Gretchen, Luan, Violet, Sue, Sasha, Angela and Summer, and also the Midnight Meeps, onto a permanent restraining order for causing too much abductions. And Molly's family and friends, and even my parents are even filing a lawsuit against all of you Destiny girls for what you girls have done to us cheer girls and to their big and little children for all of this. What? Oh. My. Fucking. God. How could you? How could all you betray us Destiny girls to reveal our true original names and even file a lawsuit to us Destiny girls for everything we have done? I thought that we were good friends, and this is how the shit ends? How could they even turn against us like that? We don't want all four of you to know, because it's a long story short. Also for what you have done to Yuna and her friends, they are also cutting their ties with all of you Destiny Girls and the Midnight Meeps for causing too much fiasco like Lily Anderson Alter 3.0. No, this cannot be happening right now. I don't want to lose everything. Yeah. Please give us Destiny Girls another chance. We promise we will be good girls, I swear to God. Our parents are going to kick us out of the family forever just because of our true names being revealed. That's exactly right Rachel. And as for you Victoria, as the smartest person in this world, I am cutting ties with you just because you wanted to be a Penelope Taylor wannabe permanently. Same with you Destiny, I am cutting ties with you forever for everything you have done to the whole society. As for you Rachel. I, Cecile Bernard, the so-called quote-unquote richest girl in the world, is going to tell you about what you and your destiny friends have done. I am cutting ties with you forever. And as for you Kimberly, I am going to make my object head trend say to you for what you have done to everyone and being a disgrace to society by calling everyone object heads. I am cutting ties with you forever. All four of you, get the fuck out of the cheer house and get out of our cheer life. Molly and her friends will not be extremely happy when I tell them about what you Destiny girls have done to us cheer girls like that. We're cutting ties with you, now get out of our sight, forever. Goodbye forever, we hope you along with seven others kill yourselves and burn in hell, you psychopaths. Violet, Angela, Sue, Luan, Summer, Sasha and Gretchen. All seven of you, get your asses down here right now, on the double. What's going on cheer dorks? Why are the eleven of you crossed with us right now? Are you cheer skanks going to kick us out of the house and cut ties with us? Afraid so. Sona, Angela, Violet, Sue, Lynn, Sasha and Gretchen, words cannot begin to describe how your family and friends like us cheer girls and the Molly gang are really pissed off with the seven of you. And the same goes with Victoria, Destiny, Kimberly and Rachel. We can't believe all of you would go as far by causing way too much fiasco to your family and friends treating them like they are your slaves, then trespassed onto someone else's property without permission, causing so much abductions and so much more. And if you say something about me, I will slap and beat you up. Liana, why are you doing this to us? By the way, your voice sounds disgusting. Keep the Catherine voice, keep it, keep it right now. You know what? I'm so you asked sorry. for it. No way. I am not keeping that Catherine voice, because I sound more like a true woman. The cheer girls and all of the other groups and I all watch the world crumble before, and we will not let it happen. Sona, how would you like it if I insulted you with your Catherine voice and wanting to have a new sounding voice? That wouldn't be so nice at all. Hey. Why did you get the Sally voice? I wanted that Julie voice right now Ichika. Besides, the voice Sally sounds sickening and I might puke. Change your voice to Julie, right now Ichika. You know what? I can't stand my Julie voice as well. And I have to agree with Liana on that. She doesn't like her Catherine voice, I don't like my Julie voice. I am so beating you up for what you said about my voice. Oh crap. 
How would you like it if I insulted your Julie voice? That wouldn't be so nice. And on top of it, you, Summer, Sasha and your cousins Luan and Sue are nothing but spoiled brats with no life. Luan, why did you steal my look and my clothes to resemble as me, Sakura Akamine? I am so going to beat you up for this. Same with you Sue for dressing up as Yui Akamine. You and your sister are going to regret it for all of this. Come on sis. Get them. Damn, Damn it. it. Luan and Sue, how would the two of you like it if we stole your clothes and things from your rooms? That wouldn't be nice at all. Angela? Why did you use autism as an excuse just like me? And why did you steal my old clothes just because it might be too small when you had the audacity to act up just like me when I have autism? You're a big disgrace to society along with your friends and the cheer skanks who were now disowned by their family and who were betrayed by us cheer girls and Molly gang, since they lost everything. But Melody, it was just an accident. I just wanted to wear it. That's all. You know what I can't stand it anymore. I am going to beat you up and I am telling Zabrina that you stole her new outfit. First you used autism as an excuse to get away with something or someone else, and now this. You deserve to cry like a baby over everything forever. Oh crap. <laughs> How would you like it if I steal your clothes and use autism as an excuse on you? You wouldn't like that if I use autism as an excuse. Plus, my autism says that if you steal anyone's clothes and use autism as an excuse, think again, I will beat you up with my autism because my autism makes me stronger than anything else in the whole society. Sasha, you Maria Lopez wannabe. Why the fuck would you have the damn audacity to become a smartest person and protect Angela from the bad stuff around along with your stupid friend Summer? You should also know that Angela is using autism and she always cries like a baby over the stupidest things permanently. I am beating you up for this. Damn it. <laughs> There. That's what I think. And Gretchen the second spoiled richest girl, I heard about what you along with your Destiny friends along with Victoria, Destiny, Rachel and Kimberly. You and Rachel have been considered to be the most disgusting richest girls in the world. You have committed the most disgusting, sickening and horrific acts of your life as Crystal Morbucks. My mom and dad will be really furious about what you, Victoria, Destiny, Rachel, Kimberly, Sasha, Summer, Angela, Violet, Luan and Sue have all done to us cheer girls and the Molly gang like that. Your goddamn ass cannot be forgiven forever. What? <laughs> There. That's what the second richest person in this world thinks about it when someone does something stupid like being rich just like us richest girls in the world. Exactly. Your disgusting behavior along with Rachel have put both of us richest girls in this cheer house at risk and at stake. That's why we can't handle with you sluts anymore for what you ladies have done to our moms and dads and even your siblings, cousins, your friends and enemies. And you Destiny girls have also gotten the whole Cheer and Molly house and the Cheer and Molly clubs, 
and even other gang and groups in very big serious jeopardy because of what all 11 of you have done. Exactly. All seven of you along with Victoria, Destiny, Kimberly and Rachel have not put us cheer girls into serious trouble, but to the Molly gang and other groups as well, including your family and your friends. No fucking what. That's so, god damn it. You sluts are going to be disowned by your families, they can't handle with all eleven of you girls forever. We're cutting ties with you, we hope that you're happy of being homeless forever along with Victoria, Kimberly, Rachel and Destiny. No, don't do that to us Destiny girls. Please give us Destiny girls one last chance. Please, we are so sorry. We promise we'll grow up and we'll be good Destiny girls from now on shit girls. It's too late for that summer. You and your friends should have thought twice of not letting the whole society get into serious jeopardy like that and for kidnapping us cheer girls to steal our names and our identities. And Summer, because you have called my new voice stupid and wanting to get my old voice back, in which that I am not doing that anymore, I am cutting ties with you forever. And the same goes with you Violet, because you have called my new voice stupid and wanting to get my old voice back, in which that I am not doing that anymore. I am cutting ties with you forever. As for you Ludan, since you want to dress up as Sakura and be annoying to the society, I am cutting ties with you forever. The same goes for you Sue, since you want to dress up as Yui and be disgusting to the society along with your sister, I am cutting ties with you forever. Gretchen, for being the second richest girl in the world along with your best friend Rachel who is the first richest girl in the world and for causing way too much fiasco along with your friends like Lily Anderson Ultra 3.0, I am cutting ties with you forever. Sasha, for being such a nuisance to society and for acting up like a baby and so much more like a Karen and Mary Sue wannabe, I am cutting ties with you forever. And Angela, because you had the audacity to use autism as an excuse just like me, then you had the damn nerve to steal my old clothes just because it might be too small when you had to act up just like me when I have autism and so much more and cry over everything over the damn reasons why, I am cutting ties with you forever. All seven of you, get the fuck out of our cheer club and our cheer molly family gang mates house right now or else we cheer girls will contact the police. We're cutting ties with you, we hope you deserve to be disowned by your family and friends due to your original true names. So get out right now, and we mean forever. Goodbye forever, you sluts. We hope that the seven of you along with Victoria, Rachel, Kimberly and Destiny kill yourselves and burn in hell. <laughs> Man, what a bunch of Mary Sues with no life. When will they ever learn to grow up for crying out loud? Probably they shouldn't. I hated the fact that the Destiny girls had their original names revealed just before they stole our full names like us cheer girls. Agreed. Agreed.